Welcome from the Eternal Life Fan Club. This is Raw Matt, and I'm making this video today to share with you a product called Lyme Aside. I have designed this to help people that have chronic Lyme disease get over the problem. This isn't for people who have just gotten Lyme disease. Lyme disease can be cured quite easily in its initial stages. However, when the disease incubates, it becomes chronic, and this disease is very hard to cure nearly impossible. Uh, antibiotics do basically nothing for it. People take them and the disease itself is pleomorphic, meaning it changes its shape inside the human body and embeds itself in the microbiome of the gut. And there's almost nothing a person can do at this point besides try different herbal systems, but oftentimes those contain herbs that are hard on the system, like wormwood or quassia bark. Uh, those are really hard on the liver. We have uh, berberine, which is an active ingredient in Oregon grape root and barberry, very hard on the system. Again, we have pardiarco, which actually can't distinguish between good or bad uh, intestinal flora, so it just destroys everything. These are very, very hard on the system. And to really get rid of chronic Lyme disease, you're going to have to be on a daily program for about four months. This is the time it takes to consistently change the intestinal flora microbiome that's, that's where this uh, bacteria has proliferated and collected. So antimicrobials are the way to go when it comes to chronic conditions for this disease. And I have come up with a formulation that entails all of the herbs you can take every single day for this four month program. And you would take it in a tablespoon form, put it into your mouth and chew it up. It's made to be taken very easily and I don't like the fact that most people bypass the mouth with, with capsules. Uh, it's just not going to get into the blood as well. You're not going to get uh, the pitalin, the amylase from the saliva, and it's going to pass the parietal hormones, the sublingual glands. So it's not going to get into the blood as well and circulate, and it's just not going to be absorbed very well. And that goes for almost any herb. That's why herbal teas and tinctures work much better than just taking a capsule of herbs most of the time. So that said, uh, this should last you about uh, 60 servings. You can do it once or twice a day. I recommend it between meals. No matter what you do, you're going to find potency on all herbs are best taken on an empty stomach. So if you can take this between breakfast and lunch or between lunch and dinner, you're going to have your maximum effects and benefits from taking it at that time. This supplement contains olive leaf extract, which I believe is a very, very powerful element in helping destroy that because of the olorupines that it contains. I also like that it contains go-to cola. This is a very good oxygenator for the system and people that have chronic Lyme disease have depleted oxygen levels is very similar to a person that has cancer. You can always find it if a person has cancer easily by testing blood because their oxygen level concentrations have gone down. It's also a destroyer of syphilis, which under the microscope looks identical to Lyme disease and their ability to destroy microbes is high in top tier. Another one is Japanese knotweed. Uh, I'm a huge fan of that herb. It's very, very powerful. And uh, really alone itself can help a lot of people eradicate Lyme disease, but it just depends on the stage. So I'm incorporating everything that I can because I don't know you individually. So I have to take a more um, unbiased approach and attack every stage that I can imagine a person might be in from the absolute worst condition to maybe uh, half a year in. Uh, uh, the other herbs that are in there are mostly just buffers besides uh, stevia leaf. I'm not using that as a sweetener. Stevia leaf is actually very good for uh, the attack against Lyme disease. So keep that in mind. The next time you're at the store, do not get the, uh, um, the white powder that you find. That's a derivative, uh, highly processed stevia. I'm not a fan. Um, noni is a great fruit as well. I've incorporated that. Um, it also raises potassium and a lot of people that might be on a ketogenic diet don't really get very much potassium in the diet. Their sodium concentrations are much higher. So I brought, I let that into consideration for somebody who might be on a very low to no sugar diet, especially while fighting Lyme disease that can be very beneficial. 
So if you have any questions, please post them below and I will do my best to answer them. Good luck on your journey destroying my disease forever.